Coming More cards than ever before. Yeah. Cards here, cards there. <laughs> but we can have bigger expansions, we can add more factions. Happy, Happy holidays! holidays! Hi everybody and welcome to episode 5 of A Round of Gwent. This is a very special episode, it being the holiday time of the year, so we're all feeling a little bit nostalgic and in this episode we're going to be talking about how Gwent has evolved from its beginnings back in closed beta and what we are looking forward to over the next year. So as always I am joined by co-host Pavel Bouja. Hey guys! And today we have two very special guests for you. We are joined by Jason Slammer. Hey guys. Who is the lead Gwent Gwentineer. That's Gwentineer. right. And we also have we also have Swim, who I'm sure many of you know as yeah. well. So how are you guys today? And can you tell us a little bit about like who you are and uh, your role with it, within Gwent? So uh, I was the, the programmer behind the Witcher 3 version of Gwent, and uh, I was also the person who started the actual Gwent standalone project. So I Ooh. started the code and everything. Uh, so I've been on it a pretty long time now. Mm -hmm. And then Swim, what's your role with the Gwent community? I'm a professional card boy. I play Gwent and people watch me <laughs> sometimes. Wow, that's, so, that's beautiful. So we've seen many changes this year, uh, this past year. How have you guys found, found those? I mean, from my point of view, I'm just trying to make sure we keep it all together and keep it working and releasing <laughs> Come on, guys, uh, on, together. on a steady cadence the whole year. And uh, I'm super proud that we managed to actually pull off every single patch without any apocalyptic disasters. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and I'm really happy with the direction it took. And that's saying from a perspective that many of these changes, when I first saw them, I was like, <laughs> because yeah. I, you know, I come yeah. from the background of having worked on the original, and I'm like, oh, but it's so, it's, it's different. Yeah. And but ultimately, I'm like super proud and happy of the direction that we took, and I and I see the value in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I honestly couldn't agree more. Like people, people really don't like change because it's different and they have to get used to it. But to me, Gwent is a game yeah. that was just born from this mini game state, and it's. I, I think it is imperative for the future of the game that you guys are doing what you're doing and making these changes to make it just better formatted for multiplayer. Yeah. No, thankfully, like for sure, there's changes that we knew very easily to make, but there were others that thankfully calmer wiser minds have <laughs> have pushed us into making the right well, it's, decisions. It's hard because e even even the best designers will have that experience you had, right? They'll look at a change and be like, oh, this feels weird. Yeah, but yeah. that's just the thing. Like, You need to make those decisions, and I'm really glad you guys yeah, are doing So that. some of the big changes that we've seen include um, the change to remove faction passives and yeah, move the was, abilities. That, that one was not hard to argue. That, <laughs> yeah. one, that one just that felt was, right. That was easy. That, yeah. was, that was the easy one. Yeah, <laughs> and then we've seen the changes to weather, weather. which used to set everything on the road to one. Could you yeah. believe, like, could you imagine that? being in the game currently. No. Uh, weather used to be <laughs> Rolocked. We've seen the lack of gold immunity now. Right. Some massive that was, That's the hard one. Yeah, yeah the gold <laughs> immunity was the, was a scary yeah. one for me because I'm like, well, all these cards work because you know that they can't be copied, <laughs> resurrected, comboed, and all of a sudden you're like, no, well... Yeah. How have you found yeah. this being on the forefront of the community? I mean, like for me, Always, like like you mentioned, when I first hear about a change, I kind of react the same. It's like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? This is gonna change the whole game. What are these guys game. doing? <laughs> no, no, but, but then but then I pretty much sit down with like Luigi Rethes and the, and, the, and the guys and I'm like, hey, tell me a little bit more. What's the idea behind it? And they always like reason it so nicely that I'm like, yeah, this makes sense. This actually makes sense. So I have to myself kind of think how I should then like communicate it through players, like when we do a developer stream to kind of like go one by one and say, okay, we're doing this because A, B, and C, and like all these changes, they were very like big, especially the recent one with uh, with the new tech update and how the how the game works right now. It's also a big change. It's also a big change, and I know that players first react like, "Oh, oh my God, yeah, I have to yeah, learn yeah. everything <laughs> once again." It's like yeah. a blessing and a curse, but yeah. it comes from us moving from like a very simple uh, card game, which was in the- Which had like, three. what, eight abilities? Yeah, yeah, eight, eight, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. With, with limited abilities with into something that's- With two rules, yeah. yeah <laughs> with something that needs to be competitive, that needs to be balanced, so yeah. it's, it's, it's difficult. That but you can grow on, keep adding content to. Exactly. Overall, like the feedback and, and me working with the community is just, is just great. It's been a great year. I would, I would finish off by saying that the 2017 was a year of us trying to keep content out there, trying to get players exposed and, and, and getting their feedback while taking a step back and building the technology technologies from gameplay to the way the UI to the way the cards work to so many things that you guys don't see uh, and it slowed us down a bit but they're all things that are preparing us to have an amazing 2018. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, definitely. Like lots of the changes we've seen have obviously been, as we said, uh, coming from a relatively restricted, you know, uh, mm -hmm. single player game, moving it into a game which can now be fully realized and, you know, uh, expanded with you know, many new cards in the future. Uh, so you've re really been opening up the design space and like laying the foundations this year. Uh, so let's look forward to next year. So we have lots in store in the in the coming More year. More cards than ever before. Yes. Yeah, so cards then, here, cards, cards there. <laughs> oh, cards under the yeah. table, <laughs> cards behind my ear, cards yeah. everywhere. And, Which is good. In a good way. You know, not, <laughs> yeah. not just cards for cards, but awesome yeah. cards. You know? Which is good because it opens possibilities for leaking stuff, which is which is which oh, is my my number one job here. So I need more leaks. Yeah, Kesha, make me a bigger leak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like you said, it opens possibilities, and I think that's what we needed to like have down like the base and the core of the game. Yeah. Also, when it comes to card expansions, now we can do a little bit more. We can have bigger expansions. We can add more factions. We can yeah. work on the new game Definitely. mode because we have the foundation. Kind yeah, of. Don't, so we're building. Don't, don't forget the new game mode. I think that's yeah. going to change things quite a bit. I think a lot of people mm -hmm. are going to enjoy it. What about you, Swim? Are you looking oh, forward I'm, to it? I'm not going to play anything else. <laughs> like, no, no, no. I, when, when that's out, yeah. that's it. I'm, I am now an arena man. Oh, uh, re really though? Like when it's out, I'm sure a lot of people are going to play it for the first like three days. Yeah. Like I'm in that camp, but I'm just not going to stop. <laughs> like that, that's just going to be my life now. Yeah. That's, that's how I plan on spending the rest of my twenties. <laughs> you see the tumbleweeds rolling through the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's playing the ladder. Everybody's drafting like crazy. But you know, it's fantastic. There's a lot for us to be looking forward to for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, there's like the the changes we did to the deck picker, the match setup, and the um, card picker for the mulligan. Yeah. You see how those have like reached yeah. a, a level of quality in our in our visuals and our UI that we didn't have before. You can expect a lot more of that next year. So yeah. So pretty much, this is the benchmark when it comes yeah, this, to like this, something that we want to do. This update was really things. like. Our, our kickoff point for, uh, I think, an aggressive transition from beta to hopefully, aggressive. Uh, yeah, aggressive. aggressive. We got, we, got, we, we, we really want to get things going and, and get the game off, uh, mm -hmm. you know, with more, more steady releases and more significant. Uh, next year. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> not an easy thing to do. <laughs> the community definitely have faith in you guys. All of the changes we've seen so far, uh, you know, have been for the long term good. Uh, I think we can all see that, you know, with hindsight, all of the big changes have definitely improved the game. So I personally have a lot of faith in what you guys are doing, and yeah. I'm sure it'll all go. Oh, thank you. Swimmingly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> swimmingly. <laughs> nice. I like that. Pun intended. Why are you called swim? Anyways, I never knew. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> it's funny you should mention that. So when I was when I was like God, I don't remember how old, three or four. Right. I had I, I carried around this little like stuffed crocodile everywhere. Right. right? And I, I would call it swim because that was like one of the ten words I knew. I guess. I thought it's because you swam here. From oh no North no no! I, 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 I don't even know how to swim. Oh okay. That's I have, I, have the, I have the doggy paddle down. <laughs> okay. Oh, good good. <laughs> or you can just lie and float. Oh yeah, the starfish. Starfish. That, that's yeah. that's the second one I know. <laughs> that's how you're going back. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the wind blowing in the back. <laughs> Okay, so we've touched on you know things that are to come, and we've uh, we've talked a little bit about the big changes which have happened. Yeah. But since it is you know the end of the year, um, and we want to you know wrap up all the things we've seen this year. I wanted to ask you a bit about what have your favourite things been this year so far. For me, like the biggest thing will be um, the recent update, of course. And I say it because it's not the recent thing, so it's easiest to take. But I think the game improved so much, and the whole core opened up so many possibilities. And I know a lot of work from the team that went into it, and it was it was crazy. Like even from the designer standpoint, where they had to rework every card and to make it, you know, more simple, flow to a little fair, bit. To be fair, they could make each card faster than before, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we did tell them, hey, your work garbage, but here, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, can do I it know, again I know. faster. But pretty much opened up more possibilities and it made yeah. the game, like, smoother, especially when it comes to triggers and priorities to make it all go, like, super, super smoothly. And I, like, for me, is, is, is the biggest game changer for the game. Yeah, yeah, it's the little things that improve the quality of life there. Yeah. yeah. For me personally, uh, I really enjoyed the uh, the events which have come this year. So the Mahat oh, Mail yeah. Festival Ooh, and the Halloween those event. Those were fun. Yeah. Uh, the Halloween event. Difficult sometimes. Yeah. Oh. yeah, just seeing a little taste of the the new game modes and the puzzles, and yeah, yeah. you know the the this new kind of uh, way to to present Gwent in a in a different format from That's what true. we're used to. It kind of shows I where think. we can go with it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really it really shows that Gwent has potential in you know a way other than the standard games which we know. So I'm very excited to see you know what puzzles we have in the future and other ways is to play Gwent. Yeah, That's I really was good. I was always hooked on those puzzle formats like from other games. I'm really glad you guys are going in that direction. Yeah. I mean, so many, so many cool things happened this year. Uh, but if we're talking about Gwent, it was the challenger. So uh, most of the dev team had to stay and work on a version. I was on maternity leave. So the first one, right? Not yeah, the, the first one. one. The second one was, was also, I mean, pretty spectacular. You yeah. guys yeah, liked it, definitely. right? Yeah. 
Uh, but the first one, because I got to go uh, for shortly. I mean, my wife called me back home uh, <laughs> a few hours after I got there, but that's fine. It's, it's, it's to be expected. Uh, and, you know, you work on a project for so long, you work on Gwent, you put all this energy, all this heart into it, and uh, it's, it's easy to lose track of how it feels. And then you come into this, like, studio with these high-quality props everywhere, and then all these casters ready to shout your game out and show it off, and it's like, oh my god, this, this, this is my work being shown off here. And they're like, hey, do you want to go on stage and present it? I'm like, uh, yeah, 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 no <laughs> problem. Wait, let's see, crown, got it. Uh, some flags, let's just go wave around them. I don't care if I look like an idiot. I'm just, I'm just like a, really proud, cool. a proud parent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's school. just I had so much positive energy and I just wanted to, to, to spread it with the world. And, and that's not something that's easy to It was to genuine. That's it, the most important thing. Well, it was yeah, genuine and looked really cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ash, I hearken back to the days of like early closed beta. I, I don't know, like it, it's hard to even remember that. That was 14 months ago. Good old days. Yeah. <laughs> now, where does the time go? But <laughs> so back in those days, there were tons of crazy combos you could do. Like you guys will remember, like the old port infantry interactions, and like oh, yeah. even that took like several iterations before. Those like, couldn't stay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the promote, the promote Marjo as well. Like oh, yeah. crazy combo decks you could do. Uh, I, I, I myself had one <laughs> that thankfully I didn't publish, um, but I had one with uh, Margarita and just promoting four times. And right. promote used to used to Ugh. promote twice as many units as before. <laughs> there was a little animation every time. So I built this deck that caused a 20 minute animation in the hopes that my opponent would get bored and concede. How often does that work? Wow. It worked twice, but I, <laughs> no, no, well, I, I, I didn't. And it crashed the other times, right? <laughs> Because we have to somehow support all these cards spawning <laughs> on both you and your opponent's PC. Yeah. You know, we could. Uh. Yeah, to, to be honest, the reason it only worked twice is because I, I got bored and stopped playing it. <laughs> it worked in reverse. Right? Yeah. I remember streamers yeah. like trying to beat their records, yeah. like going like every day or every week, like new record, like yeah. thousands and thousands of points. I was like, Jesus. Oh, yeah, I remember like, like, like oh, 40,000. Yeah. We, yeah. We never planned on having a 17 digit score. Yeah. This is just not going to. This is not even <laughs> possible. <laughs> I what are you doing? Streamers. Yeah. yeah. So you're a big fan of the anarchy which existed, you know, back in the early in the early Well, of honestly, I mean, I <laughs> I'm not so much of a fan of it because in in retrospect it's great, yeah. but it's a bit of nostalgia. I, I think the transition from that to now reflects like a great transition for Gwent, which is, you know, a transition from like a kind of more gimmicky <laughs> game, maybe not not unlike a certain unnamed <laughs> game. Uh, uh, Shots fired. <laughs> But, you know, to, to more of like a competitive strategy game, and I think that's like a really great direction for the game to go in. I feel like I would love it if there were to be a, a legacy server though, where we could go back and enjoy whoa, whoa, the game. Whoa, whoa. We got right. enough things to do right now. <laughs> Come on, no, 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 I don't want to go back, I don't want to no, go no, back. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh no, that's fantastic. It's nice to hear, you know, everyone has, you know, highlights from this year, and we've all been on this journey together. Um, but now we're going to go and have a look at some of the cards in the collection with our favorite uh, crazy old man. Adelbert. <laughs> All right, guys, Beyond the Frame, episode two, let's go. Salutations. You term yourselves Gwenters, Gwentlemen, Gwenches. You spend hours laying them out, slapping them down, flipping them at the moment most opportune. So you think you know all there is to know about the cards, but you do not know what lies beyond them. So I am here to tell you, to tell you what lies be on the frame. Creation. I've spoken of it before. Its triumphs, its foibles, its off puzzling discoveries. And the creators, their toil, their wanderings in search of something that is stellar and true that others might deign to enjoy or even admire. Our first card, the Rotfeet. A creature most repugnant, resembling a human child stripped of its skin, the devourer, the most dangerous variety in the species, with an insatiable appetite for decomposing flesh. I wish to show you the initial image put forth by the card's creator. Think of the mind that spawned this image. These are my captors. On to our second piece. 
the navigator of the wild hunt, a retinue of wraiths upon skeletal horses galloping across the sky, as the common folk call it, an omen of war. In fact, elves from another dimension. At any rate, warriors, tall, imposing, wielding compensatorily large weapons. And the long, shiny flaxen hair, well, it could indicate any one of the species you never know with their kind. But the voice leaves no doubt, for the artist of this card was intent to show the Wild Hunt's ranks included proud female elves and cast them in the role of the retinue's navigators, no doubt due to their superior sense of direction. And last, Asira Va Anahid, a sorceress of Nilfka, a founding member of the infamous Lodge, a maiden most martial, who supported every territory-hungry campaign waged by Emir Va Emres. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? Well, we speak of a cat lady, as evidenced by the card. The feline she cradles is none other than Merlin, a very original name. Uh, the artist who created the card was equally enamored of these egotistical little beasts and depicted Asira having opened a portal from which the spirits of cats emerge. A veritable catastrophe, if you ask me. There you have them, Gwenters, one and all. Three examples of creative minds at work. Join me next time for more thoughts. So it was great to hear from Adelbert. It's always nice to hear a little bit more about the cards and, you know, learning a bit more I, about... I love his character. Yeah, and, and, and finding out all that lore, too, right? Yeah, yeah. that thing about Rothfiend was really interesting. I, I didn't know that. Me neither. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It, we, we, you know, like we said earlier, at some point, um, the artwork, right, has been done quite a long time ago. And we don't use it all right away. And I remember seeing the Rothfiend, like, before even close beta, and we're like, um, I'm not sure. Uh, is this, is this let's, PG-12? Let's choose a different card for, um, <laughs> right now and we'll figure it out later yeah. yeah so now we are going to move over to our community corner where we get to see some of the fantastic creations which our very talented community produce so over to Buja. Community corner, community corner. all right first entry is my favorite leak so this leak plush you made by Kasha Radeshuk I really love this one yeah I've kept it for such a long time it's already gotten a little bit like used and dirty but I know she's making a new one a bigger one <laughs> which I can use as a weapon oh. and uh, you she's the duel of the leaks yeah. yes duel of the leaks yeah. and she is the art director for Gwent as you can tell it has a nice awesome Gwent logo here yeah. I really love this thing it's really it's really cool it's it's a good, good yeah. time to actually show it off finally so yeah here it is all right, moving on. The second entry is a meme, of course. And I love memes. <laughs> Swim, do you love memes? Oh, I, I consider myself a bit of a meme connoisseur, Bouja. So you only here. like certain flavors of yeah, meme? Delicious. Delicious <laughs> memes. Yeah. Uh, so this one pretty much showcases my life. It's like, where has my time go? Mm -hmm. Swim, how many hours do you have in, in Gwent? I was going to ask. Almost 4,000. I'm at, I'm at 3,900 or so and right I, now. I thought I had a lot. I only have like 400 <laughs> hours in yeah, the game. Yeah. Uh, well spent 20s, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this one's by Yust Ten Hangel. Next one up is Siri, and Siri playing cards and moving through time. And as you can see, she's kind of cheating. Yeah, I mean, she, she kind of redefines sleeve trick, right? Yeah, yeah. Just teleport. Yeah, just teleport, take some cards, teleport back, play them. Easy. Not playing against Siri. She cheats. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really love that artwork of Siri. It reminds me a lot of the, the cinematic, you know, when the Nilf Guardians come into oh, the tavern yeah. when they're playing. Yeah, that's really and she cool. just dashes away. Yeah, dashes away. It's really cool. This one's by Red Bakumotov. I think <laughs> I got that one. And now we have Lambert. This one I actually saw on Reddit by user <laughs> The Musing Man, or The Music Man in this case, because he's playing a keyboard. And he has Kara in the back playing the drums. So it's the Battle of Kara Moore in the concert <laughs> edition the coming battle. soon. Sounds like a cool concert name, actually. <laughs> yeah. 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 Battle of Care More. Uh, now that's what I call Glambert. Nice, oh, boy. nailed it. <laughs> and everybody's like, no, it was actually good. I liked it. <laughs> yeah, I love the attention to detail in that last one. I think it was pretty impressive. And yeah. it's, it's a really well edited I can see that as an actual well. card. It's, it's, it's great for April Fools. I mean, yeah. I totally should be in the game. Yeah. All right, guys, and as always, please remember to say your plays of the month. Just go to playgwent.com slash P-O-T-M. Send them over. We'll judge them. We'll see them. We'll send you prizes. And if you win, you'll be showcased in the next episode. 
So it's amazing to see some of the beautiful creations that the community come up with. So, you know, since it is the time of the year that it is, um, do we have anything that we want to say back to the community? Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll start with you, Bouger, for any words that you have. Thank you guys, this was a very wonderful year. Uh, you've been very supportive of us. You've been sending your feedback, contacting me, inviting me for interviews, which was really, really great. Um, it's just been awesome and it's the holiday season. So what I wanted to do is wish you all the best, wish all the best to all your family, beloved and your friends. And just, you know, stay strong with us. We'll be doing more awesome stuff and I'm just looking forward to 2018. Yeah, I also wanted to say a huge thank you to the community. Um, the support has been incredible. I'm honestly just, uh, Oh, yeah, I'm so humbled by all the support that I've had. I feel like I'm you know, involved with the community, deep in the trenches of, of the community and uh, you know, being able to take part in events you know, such as all of the Gwent Slams, which I've been hosting, and also being here on a round of Gwent. It's just been incredible. And thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. And I hope that we can have a fantastic 2018 together in the Gwent world. I want to take a second to thank the families of all the developers who have worked so hard to make Gwent happen. Uh, thank you for supporting us. I'd like to say thank you to my lovely wife, Marta, I love you. I want to say thank you to everyone who's helped support everyone working on this project and making it uh, possible to do, to pull it off, right? It's not easy uh, to put all our art and energy in there and uh, thank you all for, for supporting us in, in accomplishing Aww. our goals this year. <laughs> <laughs> Never stop net decking. No, 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 no. <laughs> Guys, nice you are trigger. wonderful nice individuals. <laughs> you're awesome. You're great. Don't net deck. You're, you're smart. Independent you're player. independent, intelligent. You don't need to net deck. You have so many new cards now. You can just play, do your own thing. Yeah, Beautiful. Don't worry about it. Unique you guys butterfly. are, you guys, yes, unique butterflies. <laughs> exactly. You guys can do it yourself. Don't listen to swim. Don't net deck. It's bad. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, wonderful. So I, that wraps up the end of the episode. It's so nice to hear from you guys about you know the evolution of Gwent over the mm -hmm. past year, and we're all very optimistic about the future of the game. Yeah. I can't wait to see how things fully you know realize themselves in uh, 2018, and I hope you guys will be along with us for the journey. So uh, from all of us, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the new year for the next episode. Goodbye. Cheers. Cheers.